Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I would like to speak to you about one verse from Genesis 2.7. We shall read a verse in Hebrew and then translate it into English. Genesis 2.7 Vayitzer Hashem Elohim et ha'adam afar min ha'adama vayipach be'apav nishmat chayim vayehi ha'adam lenefesh chaya. And Lord God formed the Adam ashes from the land, and he blew in his nostrils the soul of life. Vayehi, and the Adam came to be. A living so when we read this verse there's like huge problem arising from it because it seems that God did a and something else came into B let's say if we draw the letter a on a page and we do this right and The letter A is reflected on the page when we draw the letter A, let's say, with a pencil. So we see the letter A is written on a page with a pencil. What we intend to do came into B as a reflection. But here we see like two realms. The first realm is what the Lord God formed. This is the first realm. He formed the Adam, ashes from the land, afar min ha'adama. This is the first realm. After the formation comes another verb, blue in his nostrils. And nostrils we have to, please pay attention. Nostrils is plural form. And he blew in his nostrils Nishmat Chaim. Chaim in Hebrew is life in English. Life in English is singular. But the word Chaim in Hebrew has a dual aspect. The word Chaim is written in four letters. Chet, Yod, Yod, Mem Sufit. The word Chaim is ending with Yod and Mem. Every word that is ending with Yod and Mem has a dual aspect. Like in Hebrew, Mishkafahim, Yod, Mem, which is glasses in English. Like Ofanaim, which is bicycle, bicycle has two wheels. Like Yadaim, Yadaim are hands, dual aspect. Like Raglaim, two legs, and so on. So God, and please pay attention, Lord God, not just God that we met in the first chapter of Genesis. Now we have Lord God, the dual aspect. Blue, in Adam, nostrils, nostrils we have too. Please pay attention to God. The fact that nostrils are, and we translate here the word apav, apav, we translate it into English as nostrils. But in Hebrew, it means double face, double face, or double nose. And God, let's stick with the English to make it a bit easier. And he blew in his nostrils, in two of his nostrils, Nishmat 
Chaim, the soul of life. But here, life, Chaim, is a dual aspect. So God, Lord God, formed Adam in a sense of the double. Nostrils are two. Nishmat Chaim is dual aspect. And in a way, Lord God formed Adam in a sphere of Bina, the upper He of the Tetragrammaton. Because in the book of Zohar, the Bina, the understanding, the first He is also called Chaye Melech, the life of a king and freedom. And Lord God put this or blew this potential in Adam nostrils. This is the potential. But here comes the other part of the verse. Vayehi ha'adam lenefesh chaya. And Adam came in to be a living soul. Nefesh in Hebrew is not just a soul in English, but nefesh means the most primitive part in us that makes us Nefesh in Hebrew means the ability to move and to multiply. Nefesh is the most lower part in us, which is associated to the blood cells. As the Bible says, Ki hadam hu ha nefesh, because the blood is the nefesh. Nefesh is the most lower part in us and is associated with the liver. The liver is the red uh, organ in charge of filtering the blood. And once there is a pregnancy, there is a multiplicity of blood cells. This is the most instinct of living things which can move. So why do I mention all of this regarding to nefesh? Nefesh is written in Hebrew in three letters. Nun, Pei, Shin. The volume of the letter Nun is 50. The volume of the letter Pei is 80. And the volume of the letter Shin is 300. When we take those three numbers and we write them in simple numbers, 50 as 5, 80 as 8, and 300 as 3, we get 3, 8, 5, and those three numbers are also associated with the snake in Hebrew, Nachash. Nachash is written Nun Chet Shin. Nun is 50, we take it as 5. Chet is 8. And Shin is 300, we take it as 3. So Nefesh is associated with the serpent, Nachash, and also with falling, Nafal. Everything which is separated. Nafal, Nun, Pei, Lamed also have the same formatted simple numbers as Nun is 5, Pei is 80 or 8, and Lamed is 30 or 3. So Nefesh has the same formation like Serpent, Nachash, and like Nafal, which means falling. So though the Lord God blew in Adam nostrils, the aspect of understanding, the long range of, so to speak, long-spirited human. What came in to be basically is a living soul that feels itself as falling and feels itself also separated. Nefesh chaya. God blew in Adam nostrils, nishmat chayim. Nishama, soul, is related to the upper he of the tetragrammaton, the first he, nishama. And also chayim, life, is associated with the upper he, with the first he of the tetragrammaton, the tree of life. But, though this is the potential that Lord God blew in Adam nostrils, he became to be a separated living. Vayehi ha'adam lenefesh chaya. Chaya is singular. Chaim is plural. And chaya is singular feminine. So though the potential 
is in understanding beyond space and time, long life, Adam became to be a separated human being that feels only himself, a separated, falling creature. And now we meet this dichotomy. Lord God blew in him the upper hay, the first hay of the tetragrammaton, but what Adam came into be is the last letter hay of the tetragrammaton. This is very interesting. This is a problem. Now, another observation that we have from this verse is the following. The volume of the word Chaim, Chaim is life in English, is 68. The word Chaim is written in four letters. Chet, Yod, Yod, Mem, Sufit. The volume of the word Chaim what Lord God blew in Adam nostrils is the volume of Chaim, 68. But what Adam came in to be is Nefesh Chaya. Chaya in singular feminine form. The volume of Chaya is 23. 23. And... When we look into the gap or the difference between what God, Lord God, blew in Adam's nostrils and what came into actualization, we see the following. Lord God blew in Adam's nostrils, Nishmat Chaim. Chaim has the volume of 68. But Adam came in to be Nefesh Chaya. The volume of Chaya is 23. Now, when we deduct from Chaim, which is 68, which is the potential that Lord God blew in Adam nostrils, and from this potential we deduct the actualization, the volume of Chaya, which is 23, we get the sum of 45. Again, the potential that Lord God blew in Adam nostrils is 68 Chaim. But what Adam came in to be is Chaya, 23. And what is the gap between the potential and the actualization? What is the gap between 68 and 23? And the answer is 45. 45 is the volume of the word Adam. Adam. Adam is written in three letters, Aleph, Dalet, Mem, Sufit, and the volume of the word Adam is 45. Now, what do we do with all of those three numbers or with all of those three realms? We have, in a way, three realms. The potential that Lord God put in Adam nostrils is the upper hay or the first hay of the tetragrammaton. On the other hand, we have what Adam came in to be as actualization, as a separated human being, which is the last letter He of the Tetragrammaton, or the Tree of Knowledge. God put in Adam nostrils the Tree of Life, the upper He, Nishmat Chaim, but Adam came in to be the tree of knowledge, Nefesh Chaya. He put in him Nishmat Chaim. He put in him the tree of life, Leah. And he came in to be the tree of knowledge, Rachel. What do we do? How can we connect between those two opposite pictures? And the question is in the gap. The gap between them is Adam or 45 or the letter Vav. In order that the tree of knowledge, Nefesh Chaya, will return to the tree of life or the potential, the huge potential that Lord God blows in us all the time. In a way, we have a way back home. In order to return to the tree of life, we have to hook ourselves to the letter Vav of the Tetragrammaton, to the spirit. The letter Vav of the Tetragrammaton is associated with the spirit. The letter Vav 45 is also the name of 
the tetragrammaton with the filling of the letter Aleph. The tetragrammaton with the filling of the letter Aleph gives us the volume of Ma, what? Which has the volume 45 or Adam. And in order to return to the tree of life, the lower part in us, the nephesh, which sits in the liver, which is the tree of knowledge, has to hook himself to the spirit, which is in the heart, the vav. And then we can return to the tree of life, to the nishama, the upper hay, which is hovering above our head. And this is the way to return to the tree of life, to the potential that Lord God always blows in us. So I hope it was not too complex to understand. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlive.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.